To do the St. Patrick's Day Masterboard, I will be adding scraps of paper to book pages. They are quite thin, but they'll need to be backed on the other side so that they can be journal cards. All I'm doing is taking scraps from what we've already done, putting my glue stick and putting them over the book page. So the book page is just a base can be an old magazine it can be anything you want it to be i'm not going to decorate it in advance which i would sometimes do i do have some fussy cuts that i cut from page designs for leftovers that can be used i'm not putting any real thought into colors or placement because it all is from the kit or most of it is and therefore it will all tonally match. I am overlapping pieces, which helps give it a bit more strength. I'm doing this with a specific purpose in mind, which is our St. Patrick's Day journal. However, if you were to do this in general, you just keep going and adding pieces. What I will do when this is done is look at the size of card that we need before we cut them up back them and decorate them this is a slightly different way to the way i normally do a masterboard it doesn't even matter if you leave a bit of book page showing through because it still tonally matches everything that's going on and we set that aside to dry before attempting to cut it i will do several because i have quite a bit of scrap like this four book pages made a lot of tags which i've yet to cut up properly and journal cards i've backed them with some dark green paper you could then go on to back them with some of the digital paper which i will probably do soon because this has got a bit of glue on it but i will do it after i've added some elements to these that one still needs corners putting in here I have a old card where I've cut different size corners off it and then when I want to make a tag all I do is line up whatever size I want cut along my template to make the tag shape let's try simple first so simple would be to take an existing paper like this one and then layer on top something a pot of gold maybe a word I don't think we need that and that not a harp is it so let's have a look oh we've got coins we could do something along those lines if we want to add more got a tiny little gnome next time maybe outline a few things but that's one that needs a hole punching into it. Something I haven't done, but probably should do, is also go around the edges. If we put something fairly large on there. Drinking glass. That green. I think I am going to use some white gesso. Tone a few things down. So we get a bit of the white gesso. And create that kind of old wallpaper look go over lines more positively and the idea is actually to create slightly uneven amounts of white now when we put that on it will show up more bring some of that wet paint up over those edges so that you tone your fussy cut into the background which makes it look a bit more like it should be there here's the cards that I ended up making I think they're quite beautiful these are the mixed media ones I did do one simple one in the end this one I cut down a bit but the rest are all good sized cards they've now been backed with white card that's been edged with the peeled paint and then this one's our plain more collage style card it's time to add cards to the journal <laughs> Ooh, 
Okay, it's done. Our St. Patrick Day journal. And it has got lots and lots of journaling cards in it, in the pockets. I think it looks quite fabulous. I will see you with our next project very, very soon. Bye.